Now, new details in a Target 12 investigators exclusive mall milestone. As we first reported on Monday, Providence Place is facing new challenges from online shopping and the loss of its flagship department store. New tonight, we asked Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza about another challenge facing the mall security. Target 12 investigator Ted Nisi joins us now with those details. As other local malls have fallen into steep decline or even closed, Providence Place has managed to navigate the rapid shifts reshaping the retail industry. Believe it or not, it's now been 20 years since Providence Place opened its doors. Despite major changes like the closure of Nordstrom, the mall's occupancy remains strong, with 97% of its space currently leased. Yet online shopping is clearly having an effect. Data reviewed by Target 12 shows annual sales tax revenue at Providence Place has fallen from over $14 million in 2012 to a little more than $12 million today. They're a landlord. It's their job to go out and get tenants. I'm sure that you know they're doing what they can. Mayor Jorge Alorza says the mall remains vital vital to Providence, which is one reason city leaders coordinate closely with mall security. Anytime, you know, especially today, anytime that, you know, there's a, there's a large gathering you worry about, you know, what could potentially happen. Providence Place's image has already been hurt by high profile incidents like this January 2018 shooting in the garage. Shoppers were forced to evacuate. It's a really small number of like public safety events that occur, um, but we want to be very careful because when those things happen, it's on all the news, it's on all of social media now, and it scares people off. The mayor insists Providence Place is as safe as any urban mall in the country. You can come to the mall and know that the police department is coordinating with security there. You know, we have a constant presence, and it's a safe place to be. Providence Place executives declined my request for an interview, but said in a statement they continue to add new stores and expand popular ones in an effort to stay competitive. With the Target 12 investigators, Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.